Hey! Hi there! People often ask us how we tune our lyres. We tune our lyres in G, A, B, C, D and E. It's an easy tuning for, for chords. There's no correct way to tune your lyre, so ask your builder how it should be tuned. So we'll be using the G tuning. Use a tuning device or an app on your telephone. So it will sound terrific. Now we'll try to teach you some basic chords in block and strum methods. Here we go. With the block and strum method, you block a string by lightly touching it so it won't sound. The strings that you don't touch will sound. So if you make a combination of blocked strings, in this case the G, the B and the D, and you strum, you get a chord. We will start with a G chord. For the G chord we have an open G, a blocked A, an open B, a blocked C, an open D and a blocked E. If you strum you get the G chord. For the A minor, you move your fingers up one string. So you have an open A, an open C and an open E. When you strum it, it will sound like this. For the B minor, we have an open B and an open D. It will sound like this. Often I release the E string to get a fuller sound. The next chord is a C. We have an open G an open C and an open E. And it might sound like this. Now we have the D chord. We have an open A and an open D string. Like this. Here I also release the E string for a fuller sound. The last chord for today is the E minor. We have an open G, an open B and an open E. So these were your first six basic chords for the block and strum techniques. Memorize them, they are really important. We'll do them one more time, have fun with them and rehearse. See you next time.